This video will show you how to use Excel to uh, calculate fast Fourier spectrum. Um, it's useful if you have an oscilloscope that has 2500 points, voltage versus time, and it's uh, stored in your computer in an Excel file. Okay, so let's open, a, open up a file here. Okay, this is a s simple data. Here's information um, that the oscilloscope has. Uh, column D uh, is the uh, time, and E is, is the voltage as a, f as a function of time. So one of the first things you have to do is you have to uh, only use uh, 2 to the n points. So we'll use uh, 20, 48 points. So what I'm going to do here to make it make it simple is just delete points after 2048 uh, okay so I'm going to delete all this data Now that we have voltage versus time, we want to take the Fourier transform of this data. Um, so we'll need the uh, add-in package. If I go to data here, there's something called data analysis under analyze. You probably won't see that. Um, if you need to uh, put the add-in in, uh, go to file options, add-ins. And we're looking for this analysis tool pack. Analysis tool pack. Um, so I've already added it in here, but if it hasn't been added in in your uh, Excel, it will it will appear down here. So then you just click on it. So make sure you highlight it, and then uh, hit go, and then click on analysis tool pack here. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, we can open this and go to Fourier transform here okay so right now it's already set to the data it's set to E1 to um, E 2048 and it's going to put the data in the output uh, in, in the G column here okay so G now contains the Fourier transform of this voltage versus time data. There's no frequency there's no frequency to it yet. This is the Fourier transform of the voltage. So you notice that it's um, it's a complex number here in general. There's a real part and imaginary part. So we have to take the um, absolute value of that. So we'll say uh, this is equal to I M A B S G1. Okay, so that's the absolute value of that. And I'm going to pull this down all the way to 2048. Okay, so now we have the absolute value here. The other thing we need to do is we need to know the total time, remember this is the time column, of the data. So we need, if I put in here, um, the time at the end, which is D2048, minus the first point. So that's the total time that it takes um, to take all, all the data. So you're going to need that. Okay, so let's go back up here. So now, this is a Fourier transform. We're going to need some sort of axis, frequency axis. So I'm going to have 1, 2. I'm going to pull this down. Now, Excel is not my favorite uh, software, so I rarely use it. So here's point number. But now, to convert from point number to frequency, I'm going to have to divide. 
divide by the total time. So I'm going to say, so this divided by d2048, but I don't want this number 2048 to change, so I'm going to put the dollar sign there. Okay. Oh, sorry, it was D50. D50. Okay, so I'll pull this down here. Okay, so so here's point number, uh, here's frequency, and then here's the data, the Fourier transform data. So I'm going to take this column, copy, and I'm going to put it in this column, and paste values, values. So now I have two columns. I have frequency column here and a Fourier transform here. So I'll take this data, copy it. I'm going to plot it, not in Excel, but in something else. Plot. Okay, so here's, here's a plot of the Fourier transform of that sound. So I'll take that. Okay, so the first thing you notice about the Fourier transform this is frequency now. Yep. And it's in hertz. It's in hertz. And this is the, I'll call it, just call it the FFT. It's the fast Fourier transform of the voltage. Um, so I'm only interested in this part here. Notice that this part here is exactly the same as this, only it's a mirror image. So you get basically twice the data. But I'm only interested in this part here right now, so I'll, I'll set the x-axis to 6,000. Okay, so you can see here's a fundamental frequency, here's some overtones, uh, here's some more stuff. So this is the Fourier transform. I'm going to go back over here. Um, take, take the uh, voltage versus time data, copy it. Add a, another plot. Okay, so this is voltage V. It's a function of volts. And this is time T S. Okay, so here's the original data. This is some data from my voice as a function of time. Into a, into a microphone and stored on the computer. And then this is the 4E transform of that. So you get from there to there.